Uh, well, you know, the, it was a pretty short practice and a lot of guys, so you didn't you didn't get to go uh, too often in the drills and stuff. But I think it, it'll be a pretty good pace, and I, I think I'll I'll fit right in, not be at the top of it. I mean, it's no different, you know. Of course, you uh, you want to make the hockey team and and play in the games and everything, but you know, you just gotta enjoy the experience that you have because. You know, you can't play hockey forever, and so when you get a chance, you just got to enjoy it. It's good. It's good. It's uh, it's nice. It's a, it's a refresher because, you know, I haven't uh, played the season at all, so it's nice to get some drills under me and stuff because, you know, I mean, it brings me back to old memories because there's not a, a whole lot of drills in hockey. You do a lot of the same ones throughout throughout your career. Oh, I mean, you love to play on this ice, you know. This is where I learned to skate. This is where I first started playing, and uh, I remember on Monday nights they used to have a, a beginner in-house league that we used to skate in, and so, you know, every time I come out here, it's like, going back to my childhood. I uh, grew up here in San Jose, um, started playing hockey about uh, when I was younger, started skating when I was younger, grew up barely just, you know, just playing hockey for fun, then about seven, to about uh, 15 years old, I started taking it seriously, and, uh, and then 17 years old, I uh, made the Quebec Major Junior League and the Moncton Wildcats in the queue, and then played there for half a year, then went to the... Um, the WHL for the Prince George Cougars for uh, two years and played in the BC and the AJ last year and my 17 year old year got invited to the uh, Sharks rookie camp and uh, yeah that's about it. What was the most intriguing part about taking advantage of an opportunity like this? Um, you know what I talked to Derek Eisler I'm sure you you know of Derek uh, he told me to come skate here he said it's a great organization and that uh, I should I should skate and at least you know get my name thrown out there. Your boy is a big Sharks fan? Oh yeah oh yeah so it was actually special to take part of this, being that uh, this team's already got an affiliation with San Jose. Yes, yes, it is. Uh, I know they just got affiliated with it uh, fairly recently. I talked to uh, Jason Demers the other day, and he said to uh, to go have fun out there and say hi to a few of the guys. In terms of um, night number one, have you uh, reached your goals and what you envision, which would make it a successful night for you? Uh, yes and no. I mean, I got you know just driving just an hour and a half away, just. There were a few little, you know, bus legs out there. It still couldn't get them going real well, but uh, you know, it felt good. You know, just get out there and play with, you know, a bunch of these guys out here and just kind of get used to it. It was, it was, it was good. I think right away you get a good opportunity to see who's, uh, who stands out, who's, you know, who stands out in a good way and who stands out in a potentially bad way. But at the end of the day, I told the guys we're not going to do much evaluating today. Uh, this was an opportunity to see the guys a little bit uh, and more importantly look at the goalies and see what we have to work with over the next two days of scrimmages. So it was a good day though, pretty impressive. A lot of uh, really good players, a couple people that looked a little bit out of their element, but uh, they were working hard and that's good to see. I think the reality is, is you want to be a professional hockey player this season, it's a tough market, a real tough market. You had the IHL fold, tons of teams in the CHL move from being uh, professional teams to junior teams over this summer so it's a it's a tough market there's a lot of players i'm getting calls all week from agents with uh top level players that are coming off american hockey league deals that don't have a job don't even have a place to go for a training camp right now so it's tough but the, all these guys are um you know there's a few guys that right now there's no question about it i would have signed them in, in the summertime but if the numbers weren't so high from player uh, other players that were available that i thought we're definite guys that are going to make our team better. So it's a, it's good for them to get a little bit of exposure, see where they stand more importantly, and see really what they need to either, either work on or what route they need to go, if it's the Southern Professional League or even one of those other uh, single-A leagues below that, where just to get in and get games and make sure they're doing everything they can to better themselves and be ready for the next opportunity. Was Drew one of those players? Yeah, I thought Drew Sanders, you know, obviously he's a very good player. He, you know, he's capable of playing uh, in the league. Uh, Jared Katz, uh, Marcus Watson, you know, there's uh, those are three guys that jumped off, uh, the jumped out at me right off the hop. But again, there's another seven, eight guys that I don't know exactly who they are yet. Obviously, I've seen them for the first time, but uh, certainly some good players that uh, I know are uh, guys that can make an impact, uh, not only in our in our league, but for our team potentially. Well, obviously, this is an opportunity for both Odie and I to get a good look. we got two sets of eyes watching every one of these guys seeing who can play a lot of it's gonna be guys that will probably end up in the Southern Professional Hockey League that we'll know so when we do get down to numbers and our affiliation calls for a bunch of recalls and there's some injuries on our lineup and we're searching for players maybe there's five or six guys in this camp that we saw for uh, for a full weekend here that are having a good season and in, uh, in one of those other leagues that we can we can grab come up and he can be a significant uh, impact player for us and in a relief role throughout the season so it's a uh, it's important for me and Odie both be in there and two of us uh, kind of given the, the negatives and the pauses with, with each guy. 
is uh, having a certain number of defensemen and a certain number of forwards kind of altered maybe how uh, you might change things and who you pick uh, to head in a main camp? No, it really, uh, a lot of it's going to depend on uh, on who uh, who rises to the top. That's, uh, I, it doesn't matter what position they are right now. Uh, ideally, well, we're going to take at least one forward, one D, and one goaltender. Uh, but it, last year we ended up taking seven, and I can see that being the case this year again.